In another development, the Lagos State Government has given traders and shop owners within the Oshodo markets up to July the 31st, 2024 deadline to remove all extensions and attachments built on shops or faces sanctions. The General Manager of Lagos State Building Control Agency, Ak Bolahan Uki, gave the ultimatum during an advocacy and sensitization program put together in conjunction with the Oshodi Solo Local Council Development Area, LCDA. Oki said that the state government is determined to bring environmental sanity to all nooks and crannies of Lagos markets by checking the illegal activities of shops and plazas owners who violate the fiscal planning laws of the state. He said no amount of resistance and intimidation by miscreants or ethnic coloration put in blackmailing the state from doing the needful can make the state government go back on its resolve to clean up the entire Lagos market of extensions and attachments. Chairman of Oshodi Solo LCDA, Otumba Kende, warned the traders to avoid a scenario similar to a forceful removal of illegal extensions that took place in Lagos Island. We all want change. Change is the most simplest thing to do, but very difficult to achieve because nobody wants that change. If we want to do change, it's going to affect us, and we are going to have that change at all costs. Look at the electric pole. Look at the people selling. Imagine any fire incident at this spot. Staying a delay of five minutes can cause millions of damages, and that is what we are talking about. All these extensions are on walkways, which are not supposed to be. People are supposed to be on the walkways. Imagine people are selling on the road. It's not necessary. And that's just what we are doing. It's not a matter of whether you are Igbo or Aousa. If you are an Aousa person, you know what the building line is. You are the one that bought the land. You gave it to professionals to do. They should do the right thing. Same if you are Igbo, even if you are Yoruba. Necessary thing needs to be done. We must comply with the rules and regulations. Um, what they are telling us today, it's a fact. If anything bad happens, nobody plans for fire or any other thing. The state government will need an access road in order for them to perform their jobs. Um, in principle, people like um, the fire service. So in view of those, I feel they are saying the right thing. And the local government is going to partner with LAPCA to make sure they are giving us grace, which we all appreciate that after they sell their salar sales, by July ending, they will come. But before then, the local government will see to it that most of these things are removed. 